The unraveling of a, of a mystery involving a mom from New York who went missing while traveling overseas in Turkey. The body of 33-year-old Sarai Sierra has now been found, and police say they are questioning no fewer than nine people. ABC's Nick Schifrin is in Istanbul, Turkey. Dan, good morning. Still a lot of questions, not only who killed Sarai Sierra, but how did her body end up next to a highway on a hill just on the other side of this old city wall? Also, who are the nine people police are questioning, including two women, about the death of this young American mother who was on her first trip overseas? Investigators are combing through this scrubland next to the railroad tracks, looking for any hints of what happened to the 33-year-old New Yorker. Police found her body with a head wound and a blanket nearby. Still wearing all her clothes, even her earrings and a bracelet, they continue to scour this whole city for any <laughs> clues. Police have a new lead they're investigating this morning. They're reportedly speaking to a Turkish man whom Sarai contacted the same day that she disappeared. He says they were supposed to meet in this popular tourist spot, but that she never showed up. Sarai came to Istanbul, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, to practice photography. A friend canceled at the last minute, so she traveled alone, chronicling what she saw on her Instagram page. This was the last time she was seen. Surveillance cameras captured her walking through the mall the day before she was due home. She seems calm, and she eats alone. She walked out of the mall onto this street exactly two weeks ago, January 20th. She walked down this road, and then she vanished. American and Turkish investigators quickly launched a manhunt to try and find her. Her family also rushed here to help the hunt. Her husband, Stephen, was anxious. You know, you have so many thoughts going through your mind. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to come out of this. It ended in tragedy. Investigators are now trying to understand tantalizing clues. Why was she carrying an extra pair of shoes? Why did she leave behind her passport, medical cards, and phone charger in her rented room? Her family now hoping for answers, her two sons back home, and a heartbroken husband. I've been married to her for over 14 years, and my love for her is, is, is deeper than I've ever had for any other individual. Now, one eyewitness reportedly tells police that she saw what could have been a body being removed from a car just down the road from here. It's one more lead in a murder case that is very much still open.